one thing to talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. Exactly. Okay, well, that's different. if I'm not correct. Right. My question is, can I talk to Mary Magdalene without his wife in the room? <laughs> it's another thing when Jesus talks to you that's called mental illness. That was uh, Joy Behar yesterday on The View. They were responding to a clip from Amarosa uh, where she was talking about her time at the White House and she said that uh, Mike Pence said Jesus tells him to say things and that's what precipitated that conversation. Yeah, I'm kind of um, torn about keep your rolling clips of the view because we're making it relevant again. I like life when for five years we ignored the view. You aren't interested in the crazy things they say to Not America? Not really, because we give them ratings and they stay on television. Well, let's uh, ask Tommy. Tommy Lahren, she's a Fox News contributor. She's been following this story. We wanted to have you on to get your opinion about it. What do you think about Joy Behar mocking the vice president for his Christian faith? Well, who is she to judge how often our vice president should speak to his Lord and Savior? Who is she to mock anyone for their faith? These people are really, really amazing to me because they preach day in and day out about tolerance and love. Tolerance and love for everyone right. except conservative Christians. And then they can mock you and it's funny and you're something that they can use for their jokes around the table and they can all cackle about it. It's really disgusting, not surprising, but disgusting. If you want Joy Behar to be quiet, just say that maybe someone is speaking to Allah and Allah talks back. She would not be mocking that. And she said, it's one thing to talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. That's called mental illness, if I'm not correct, hearing voices. What do you think of those comments? I'm going out on a limb here, and I'm going to tell you, when a tree limb and a hot wire fell across my car, I was driving home from a storm many, many years ago. I mean, uh, driving home through a storm, mm -hmm. and this live wire falls across my car. I really believe I heard an audible voice in my car say, be still and know that I am God. I think I hollered, oh, Jesus, and then I heard that. And you know what I did? I froze. I just sat there. It's mm -hmm. in the book, King Truths. And, I, and the instant responders, when they got there, they said, ma'am, if you had touched anything on this car, you would be dead. So I really believe I heard a voice say, be still and know that I am God. Now, am I crazy? Mm -hmm. oh, well, don't answer that. Don't answer. Was she mocking just Mike Pence or everybody who believes in it, Jesus? See, she's, I felt that personally. We, this is America, freedom of speech. We have the mm -hmm. religious Absolutely. freedom uh, executive order. The president signed it. He can pray any way he wants to. This is America. And if he's hearing God say, be strong, Martin Luther King Jr., my uncle said he heard the voice of Jesus say, stand up. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther at his kitchen table. Was my uncle crazy? Don't answer that. Well, there you go. All right. Uh, Dr. Elvita yeah. King joining us today. Ma'am, thank you very much. Thank you.